Welcome to another installment of the E Academy dedicated to the Versa Plus control panel. In today's installment, we will present the Versa Control mobile application by means of which you can remotely manage the alarm system based on the Versa and Versa Plus control panels. In the case of the Versa 5, 10, and 15 control panels. To take advantage of the functionality offered by the Versa Control application, you are supposed to expand your system by adding the ETHM1 Plus Earthnet module. Let's go back, however, to the Versa Plus. Today we will show you how to configure the application, log into the control panel, arm and disarm the system. We will also show you how to use the application to easily control the control panel outputs, view the troubles and event log of the system. We also present you with the push notifications that allow you to regularly receive information on any event. What is needed to present capabilities of the Versa Control application? A smartphone or tablet running Android, iOS or Windows Phone operating system. We will use an Android system smartphone. A configured Versa Plus set with transformer and rechargeable battery with internet access the INT, TSG, touchscreen, keypad, and the SOW 300 siren that will be used as an indicator of operation when presenting the control of outputs. And of course, the Versa control application that can be downloaded free from Google Play Store. Download the application for iOS from the App Store and for Windows Phone from the Windows Store. The Versa Plus control panel is already running and ready to connect to the mobile application because of the configuration we did in the previous installment. OK, let's run the application itself. Launch the Versa control application on the smartphone. Go to the window in which you can add a new control panel. To connect to the panel, you need its MAC address and ID number as well as the user's password. The MAC address and ID of the control panel can be read in two ways. The first way is to read the data from the DLoadX program which was shown in the previous installment and the second way is to read them from the keypad. To do this, go to the terminal from the keypad, then enter the user code 1111, press star to enter the menu. Move to the Tests item and then select the Module versions. Select the Versa ETH modules. Use the left right cursor to find the MAC and ID values. In the Versa Control application window, give the control panel name and enter the MAC address and ID number readout from the keypad. Enter the user's password and select the system icon that will appear on the list of control panels in the application. Choose the type of system events that you want to be notified about. Use the button to finish adding the control panel in the application. Select the created system and wait until you are connected. As you can see, this process is very short, simple and easy. After a successful login to the control panel, you will find yourselves in the main window where you can navigate between the application tabs and the windows. The first screen shows the partition status. Here you can arm and disarm the system and clear alarms. The next screen is Zones. In this case, you can see four zones available in the control panel. You can bypass them, unbypass them and view their status. When you violate a zone, a change in its status is signalled in the application. Next, let's go to the output screen where you can find a list of available outputs. You can see their status and you can also change the status of controllable outputs. In our system, the SOW300 has been connected to the output. Now we activate this output by using the application. Activation of the output is signaled by the SOW300 going off. The next screen is Troubles, from where you can access the list of all troubles registered in the system. If a trouble occurs, for example, loss of 230 volts mains voltage, you can see it in the list of troubles. The last screen is Events, from where you can access all events in the control panel memory. 
Using filters, you can limit the list to the categories of events which are of interest to you, such as alarms, arming and disarming, zone bypasses, diagnostics, and other. In addition, you can easily send the selected types of events, for example, to the installer. The mail has been sent, which you can see by checking the installer's inbox. These are all screens of the Versa Control application. Now we will show you the push notifications. Let's quit the application and go to the home screen of the smartphone. Block it and trigger one of the control panel zones. After a while, you will get a push notification of alarm in zone 1 from the application. We'll show you another example. When you disconnect the 230 volt supply, you will receive notification of power failure. We remind you that the Versa Control application can be used to control alarm systems based on both the Versa Plus and the Versa 5, 10, 15 control panels with firmware version 1.05 and later. The startup process for each case is exactly the same. That's all we wanted to show you in today's installment. Configuration and operation of the application are simple enough that it needs no extra explanation, so we will publish no guide with more detailed information in this installment. We encourage you to make your customers download, test and use the Versa Control application. Thanks to its simplicity, it will be an excellent method to remotely control the alarm system for both beginners and advanced users. We invite you to watch the next eAcademy installment in which we present configuration of the GSM module in Versa Plus panel and the possibilities it offers in the form of SMS messaging. Thank you for your attention. We invite you to watch the next installments of the eAcademy. See you again.